breaking news, my wonderful people. You see, there have been talks from the All Progressive Congress in Edo State that the Edo Governor Godwin Obasiki is not campaigning with the PDP standard bearer, Asui Yodolo, because of poor performance. And guys, this is coming from Pastor Osai Geze Yamu, who was a former governorship candidate of the APC in Edo State and was also a governorship candidate of the PDP back then in 2016, who noted that as a result of Abasiki's failure and poor performance in the state, he could not stomach campaigning with Asue Iodalo. And now, the Director General Media and Publicity of Asue Iodalo Campaign Management Council, Reverend Olu Martins, had faulted his assessment, accusing Eze Iyamu of being economical with the truth. Eze Iyamu had said the delusion in Obasiki's administration was the reason most people wanted to join the APC Senator Monday Okwebolo campaign council in Edo State ahead of the September 21st poll. However, he noted that at this point, what he is saying is not true. Well, he talked about Obasiki's betrayal of a former national chairman of the APC, Senator Adams Oshomole, is still very fresh in the memory of Nigerians. How Obasiki had tried to ban Oshomole from his own state, not minding the fact that Oshomole was also a two-time governor of Edo State. And Obasiki had rode on the back of Comrade Oshomole before becoming Edo governor, but he later worked against him as his benefactor. So... Senator Oshomole isn't a fool, and Obasiki knows quite well who are his friends in Edo State. Winning Edo State, it's kind of a top priority for APC, and this APC former candidate had noted that the APC also had the interests of people at heart. Osaige Yamu, who is a former secretary to the Edo State government, SSG, also stated that he wasn't interested in the outspokenness of the APC's governorship candidates, Okwebolo, but his record of outstanding performance. He declared that Edo voters were in a hurry to change the PDP's government come September. And according to him, many residents of Edo states are not really happy with Obasiki. A lot of money has come into Edo state in the past eight years, but there is little to show for it as a result of uh, Obasiki's poor performance. And Edo state is the most indebted state in the south-south zone of Nigeria because of Obasiki. And Obasiki is just going around, you know, parading himself, someone that lacks performance. And he also noted how the people have been suffering in the hands of Obasiki in the state. I mean, these statements are quite huge. But then, but then, Martin had capped to what Osaige Iyamo had said about Obasiki not campaigning with Aswe Iodalo. And the Deputy Director General Media and Publicity, Aswe Oge Campaign Council, had criticized the chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, Osaige Ezeyam, over comment that the governor, Godwin Obasiki, was not campaigning with the People's Democratic Party's candidates. However, Martins, in a statement yesterday, had said that his former political ally and the APC may be suffering from collective amnesia as they kept contradicting themselves and had initially accused Ihodalo of being Obasiki's godson. Now they say Obasiki doesn't campaign with the PDP candidate Dr. Ihodalo. What is really the problem of the APC? Because it seems that the APC suffers from collective amnesia. If Governor Obasiki were to be Aswe Ihodalo's godfather, won't him be campaigning for him? Mm -hmm. especially if Aswe Yodalo were not incapable of campaigning for himself just like their own candidate, Monde Okwebolo, who they have to micromanage like a kindergarten child who must wear pampers so he doesn't defecate on himself. He said Iodalo is a brilliant candidate. Iodalo doesn't need anyone to be accomp to accompany him because he can tell people about himself and what he has for the people of the state. So unlike Monday Okwebolo, who needs to be pampered, who needs to be pushed, Okwe uh, Iodalo is not like that. He is to be he can campaign on his own and can tell the people about himself and what he has to offer to the people of the state. And besides, Governor Basiki has done excellently well. 
and everyone in the state is aware of it. They claim that the candidate of the PDP doesn't go around with Governor Basiki because of poor performance is a face-saving approach by the APC to distract the issues of their lame and lockstar candidate, Mondi Okwebulo. And no governor since creation of Edo State in 1991 has conceived, executed, executed lofty ideas of the superlative governance that has impacted the Edo people's life like Obasiki. Obasiki is a versatile administrator, administrator whose primary focus is to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people within the shortest time. And in case Pastor As uh, Osaige has forgotten, the PDP would like to jot his memory back to life that Edo State was a gang of thieves and political jobbers who milked the state dry. Edo State was taken over by thugs and courtes that he himself once referred to as lion and tigers. The truth is, we have long moved past where APC left us, when you could have money jointly for just being a party leader and not having any daytime job. Okay, guys, this seems to be a battle of words between Osage and Martins in Edo State. And let's not forget who... Osage is a Yamu was. He was the former Edo governorship aspirant in the Edo state elections for the APC. Although before the party's primaries, he had unexpectedly withdrew his candidacy. He withdrew from the race barely 24 hours before the primaries of the APC in Edo state. And then this man who had also, you know, tried his governorship race, but under the flag of the People's Democratic Party in 2016, he did not succeed. And Osage Eze Yamo was also one of the uh, the 12 aspirants earlier, you know, for the APC in ahead of the elections before the party's primaries. And before now, Osage had remained quiet after, the, after he withdrew from the APC's uh, race before the primaries. He hadn't mentioned anything at all. But it's quite surprising that uh, Osage, you know, had come out to talk about Governor Godwin Obasiki in the state, his poor performance leading to him shying away from campaigning with Aswe Yodalo in the state. But now Mr. Martins had carpet what he said over Obasiki not campaigning with Iodalo because Obasiki is not Aswe Iodalo's political godfather that would push him around or hold his hands while they campaign from every local government area in the state. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here guys, kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comments section. Thank you.